All right, so hi everyone. Today what we're gonna be doing is just working through um, how to do cannulation. Um, so I'm just gonna work step by step through it so you can follow along. So first of all, I wanna just make sure that the patient is comfortable and that there's adequate lighting. Um, so hey mate, you're good where you are? Yep, awesome. All right, so what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna put the tourniquet on. I'm just tightening that up, making sure I don't pinch the skin. And while I do that, I'm just going to prepare my equipment. So I have a 22 gauge cannula. I've got my syringe and my flush. And just popping everything on the bluey just to make sure that you maintain a sterile environment. I've got my alcohol swab. I've got my tachyderm. I'm just going to pull this part off. I've got my bung. That is not coming apart. <laughs> yep. And I've got some gauze. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to firstly look for which vein I want to use. So I can do that by stretching down the patient's hand and just having a bit of a look. Yeah. So I'm going to try to find the straightest vein, and in this case it would be this one here. So what I'm going to do is clean the site, just going in small circular motions and working my way outwards. And if that was dirty, I would use another one and go back again and clean that area. So, um, and I would also have a sharps container within reach. So... Alrighty, so just warning the patient that I'm going to give them a bit of a sharp scratch. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to hold the cannula with these two fingers and put another one on top here. I'm going to do, put the cannula in at about a 15 to 30 degree angle. And when I get a flashback, I'm going to lower it, advance it a little bit more, and then advance the cannula. When I hear a click, I also want to undo the tourniquet. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to put two fingers to tampen out the vein so that it doesn't bleed. I'm going to hold and twist that off and pop it into the sharps container. And then I'm going to get the bung and I'm going to screw that on there. And then I can release the pressure. What I'm going to do now, I'm just going to flush the cannula to make sure that it's in properly. And as I'm flushing, I just want to make sure that there's no swelling or that the patient's not in any pain because that'll show that I'm in properly as well. Okay. So the next step is to secure it down. So I'm going to take the tachyderm and hold it like so. You want to place it that, so you can still see the top of the blue. Place it to there and just place it securely down. And then you want to peel this part off, making sure it's nice and secure. And the next step, we're going to place these parts of tape just to make sure it's nice and firm. And last but not least, you can date it. And you want to place this tab on the side to make sure that you still have good view of the vein if there's any pain or swelling or redness. And that's about it.